This unit here, they, they it's it's the safest, the safest more fish than any unit that's, that's made in the world today. And that's because uh, I'm separating the systems out. It's, I own all the intellectual property for it. Yeah. Basically, what it's doing today, even if it's over this, it's down. There's more straw which in the air. It's just pulling down it out. Uh, full air here. This is the control system. This guy right here, that's Matt. And that, he's the best control system guy I've ever met. So this part of the machine right here, this is the brain. This is where all the functionality of the machine comes from. It's programmed, maintained, uh, takes in how much uh, humidity is in the air, what the temperature is, the dew point. So every day would vary. Yeah, it always varies, but it's always making water. Like there you go, right there. But then here you go. Put on the machine. That's, that's, that's a, no, no. There, you can look all you want. There's nothing in it. <laughs> but in here, when it's making water, in your your webinar, you talked about chlorine. You can chlorinate it if you want, but there's no chlorine in here. Okay. No, I don't like chlorine. No fluoride. Right. This is straight out of the air. It comes, it comes out. You're going old school, Moses. What? You're going old school. We screwed up when we were kids. <laughs> 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 Hey, you know what? Get a mud off my shoe. Now it's getting cold. But see, that water. It's the same water that we have here, out in the air. So with no chlorine, nothing. nothing. You're breathing it. Okay. The same stuff you're breathing. This humidity we're feeling, we just took it and turned it into water. That cloud, we just took it and turned it into water. So out there, out there in the area that you're looking at, all that all that moisture coming off those trees, these machines pull it out. You've never seen one work before, have you? There you go. What were you expecting? <laughs> hey, you gotta send me that video. I gotta, I definitely. Can I say hi? All right, everybody. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I got my mask, so I'm doing my, my the right thing I'm supposed to be doing. I'm here with a team from uh, Eastside Development Project, and we're looking at the units because they want to put in big systems on the east side of San Antonio, a disenfranchised neighborhood. And in that neighborhood, we're going to put in the solar panels. We're going to put in the water generators. We're going to make net zero. They'll be able to bottle this water made with this technology on zero energy from the grid, zero coal from the grid, grow organic fruits and vegetables right there in the neighborhood, an economic zone, food and water, bottle it, send it out. And this is how it's done. Engaging the people to do this in this time of COVID virus. Part of the problem is, is we do not have enough organic foods, fruits, and vegetables. We've been eating processed foods, and these are the things that hurt us. These are the things that the COVID virus attaches onto. This is the system what they built right here, this shop, here, here in San Antonio. It's technology that's going to take us into the future. The future of being independent on food and independent on water. So, this is it. It's a little muddy out here because we make a lot of water.
Feel hey, feel that. Feel that. Feel the water. Put your hand in it. Oh, man. put your hand in the water. This would be the same. Is this the tank? Okay. No, that's coming up. That's where it's making the water. Okay, so that's got the tank. You got a tank. Yeah, yeah. Let's get no, no, it's making the water as soon as it gets to a level of pushes it out. Ooh, that's cold, man. <laughs> it makes it and pushes it out. That is that is that is just there is all kind of safety. Yeah. What I was done there made to be 100% autonomous. You can set it around the middle of the field, the power around the And that's what you want, because you want to talk to all of those things. So they're probably independent of anything else. What I was going to tell you about those places where we want to store the water, one thing that's always really interesting is like these little windows. When we start to build a big one, something about that little window when people see the water being made, like, I've been doing this for years, but just for me to look in there and see it being made, yeah, it is, because right now it's like rain.